Hey guys, Chris from Drift Outfitters here, and today I want to show you how to attach a set of uh, dumbbell eyes or bead chain eyes to your fly. These are a great way to add a little weight to a fly, and if you want to actually invert the hook as well. Um, so I've got here just some thread attached to my hook. This is a, a relatively heavy thread in my mind. This is an ADOT Vivas. Um, I would recommend when starting out with these uh, definitely to lean toward the heavier thread sizes. So an 8-aught, a 6-aught, uh, maybe a power thread even if you want. You could go gel spun. Gel spun tends to be a little slippery, so sometimes it actually makes things harder than they need to be. Um, but whatever works for you, I would just uh, recommend something a little stronger. So I've got a little bit of thread applied to my hook here uh, just to give me some grip on the shank. And I've got just a small set of lead dumbbells here. So what I'm going to do to get these positioned to start with is I'm just going to hold it in place and make a wrap across the top and then a wrap in the opposite direction across the top. So I've formed uh, basically an X wrap of thread over the top of these eyes. And with that, they are on my hook, they're positioned. I can still move these around to whatever side of the hook I want. In this case, I'm gonna tie them in on the top of the hook. Usually when you're tying with dumbbells, they do end up on the top, um, as often they're used to invert the hook. But if you want to ride hook point down, definitely flip it over, tie them on the bottom here. So they're on my hook, as I say, but obviously they're very loose at this point, so we want to really lock things up. And the way I'm going to do that is, off the bat, what I can start by doing is just making a few wraps of thread in one direction, and then switching and coming across the other side here. And that'll at least keep them from wobbling too much. They're still quite loose. I can still move them around pretty easily, but that at least initially sort of firms them up a little bit. Now, to really get these things locked up so they aren't rolling around on you, best thing to do, in my experience at least, is to come around, wrap around the side of one of the eyes, and then back around the hook shank. Do that a couple of times. And then I'm going to switch over. I'm going to wrap around the other side of the eye and back around the shank and the, pulling in the, the same direction so you'll see you know, the top gets pulled back one way, or rather this way, uh, and then the bottom gets pulled back, and these sort of counteracting uh, pulls will sort of lock up the eyes for you. And I can do a few wraps around the other side, pulling it forward now, forward. And you can see that lean I'm talking about where now, as you're looking at the top eye sort of leaning toward the eye of the hook, now I'm going to go ahead and do that same process around the other eye here. Oops, it's tricky on this angle. I'm just gonna flip this around so I can see what I'm doing here. And then what you can do as well is you can throw a few wraps around the base of these eyes and that'll help pull those wraps inwards and really tighten things up even further. And what I usually like to do around the uh, midway point here is I'll take just a little super glue or some head cement, something that's really going to seep into those thread wraps. That's a little much. I'll just apply a bit sort of in front behind those eyes. I'll continue with my wrapping, and that way that glue really seeps into that set of thread wraps there and creates a good, strong base. Now, if you're tying a smaller fly, like say a bonefish fly, a lot of bonefish flies will use these sorts of eyes, and you don't want to use such a large thread. This is a pretty big hook that I'm tying on right now, but if I was tying in something smaller and I didn't want to tie the rest of the fly with this um, larger thread, I could easily step down uh, after locking in the eyes to a different thread and finish the thread with the, the fly rather with it. That can be a good way to get around it, but the stronger thread just allows you to really, uh, you know, kind of have to work on this, this set of eyes here and get nice and firm. At this point, um, you know, this is locked in quite tightly. That's not going anywhere on me. I feel very comfortable with that, knowing that that's going to stand up for many, many fish yet. And that's how you tie in a set of lead or, um, or bead chain eyes.